Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the Sheldon Squared Square. This is by my friend and a longtime assistant, Lord Jean Bartholomew. She saw this afghan appearing in a TV show called Young Sheldon and she decided to look at the afghan and see if she could recreate it. So um, there is no copyright infringement. It was basically looking at the couch and determine if she could come up with something similar. So what we have here is the square and it is made up of several rounds. I'm gonna take you through the complete square today. I'm going to be using a Karen one pound on camera with a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook. She used a Karen a Simply Soft yarn and she used a five millimeter size H hook. So whatever size that you would like to work with just make sure the hook complements the yarn. So this particular afghan is made up of different colors of squares that you see and uh, you can just uh, look at the show if you'd like to to get your color coordination and it's really quite uh, not a hard pattern. There's some popcorns being used and people do love texture. So without further ado let's grab our crochet hook and let's start right away. This is a four and a half inch or sorry 14 and a half inch by 14 and a half inch square. So a close up look of Lord Jean's square what we have is that we're gonna start off and we're gonna go right for a corner right in the beginning and then we have popcorns and you can see that they line up with each other and then there's a bit of a break. You see that there's more popcorns here and then we'll be bringing popcorns again in the future. So um, we're just gonna go step by step in today's tutorial. Hopefully that it will work out for you and when you put these together these uh, squares make an amazing looking afghan. I've seen them done on the crochet crowd stitch social and I think that you may enjoy it too. So let's work step by step. I'm gonna be using persimmon. It's a color by the Karen one pound line and that's what you're seeing on camera today and as I mentioned it's a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook here on camera. She's recommending Karen Simply Soft a five millimeter size H. You decide. So we're going to start off with a slip knot and create the very center of our, of our square. So we're gonna chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And now let's begin the first revolution. So first round as I follow the instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double crochet fourth chain from the hook. So it's the very first one that we're gonna start with and we're gonna double crochet and make our, our, our square immediately. So let's begin. So double crochet fourth chain from the hook. Just like that. And then what we want to do is that we want to just chain two, one and two and then coming into the same one again is that we want to apply three more double crochets. So one, two and three and then we're gonna turn another corner just go right up over top of the straggler. So chain two and then back in for another three double crochets. So one, two and three and then chain two, one and two and back in again so you can see that you're working on the final side but we're not quite done so just put in three more into the ring. One and it's really the fourth stitch from the hook so I call it a ring but it's really that. And then you're gonna chain two but before you finish you need to finish off this side. There's only two in there right now so you have to finish it first. So one double crochet and then join it to the top of the first chain that you started with and that completes round number one. Just like you see. So you should have four sides, three double crochets per side with chain twos in the corner. That's round number one. Let's check that off in our list and keep moving along. So let's begin round number two. We're technically on the middle stitch of a side so we need to get ourselves to a corner. So we're gonna slip stitch ourselves into the next double crochet and slip one more time into the chain two space here of the corner. So now we're gonna begin. So these corners on this particular one are gonna be made up of two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna chain three which counts as one double crochet and then we're gonna double crochet again in and then we're gonna turn the corner. So chain three and double crochet twice more into the same corner space. Now each one of these double crochets, there's three of them, are each going to get one double crochet each. So please do that. So one and I don't really need to count it. I just gotta look for it and I stop as soon as I know that they're all filled in which they are now. So the next corner is two double crochet. So one and two, 
followed by chain three to turn and two more double crochets into the same one. I want you to do that same idea all the way around now for round number two and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming all the way back around. So remember we started off in the corner. So that means that these three double crochets that are left have to be done. And that will conclude then round number two. And in round number three we're about to start. We're going to be getting into the popcorn work which gives it the texture. So once you have all the crochets filled in you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain three and conclude that now for round number two. Let's move on to round number three. Let's begin to do popcorns. So let's begin to do round number three. We're gonna start our popcorn round but we need to get to the first corner. So let's just slip stitch over. So one and two and now we're into the corner. So what I want you to pay attention to is that you have a total of seven double crochets on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The middle one, the fourth one in is going to be the popcorn coming in this particular round. So pay attention to that because we're now gonna start getting our established to make the diamond shaped popcorns that you see in the pattern. So let's begin the side. So you're gonna chain three counts as a double crochet and then you are going to put in one more double crochet. So the corners will stay the same of two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So you need to count the next three double crochets to be double crochets. The fourth one is popcorn and the last three are double crochets. So we can just count them now. So let's just say the first three. So one, two, and three. Now the middle one of the seven is the popcorn. So how to do a popcorn is that you're going to double crochet four times into the same stitch. So one, two, three, and four. This is called technically the right side popcorn that we're about to do. So you're gonna drop the loop and go to the first one of the grouping of four and insert your hook in going to the back. Put the loop back on and pull it through and that completes that popcorn just like you see. Okay and so now we're going to begin then continuing along. So you're immediately going to double crochet the next three in a row. So one, two, three and you technically don't gotta count it. You just gotta just crochet right till you get to the next corner and then you're gonna fill in the corner. So let's do that. So we're gonna chain, sorry you're gonna double crochet twice, chain three, and double crochet twice again. So I'm gonna do one more side with you. So the middle one of the grouping of seven, the fourth one in is going to be a popcorn. So you can count it out. Get three done first. So one, two, and three. The fourth one which is next is gonna be a popcorn. So there's four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Once you have your fourth in, drop it, go to the beginning one of the grouping of four, put it back on and pull it through and then continue to double crochet across to the next corner. And you'll notice that the popping is coming out towards you. So please do the same concept all the way around for round number three. So I'm now finishing round number three. So I'm just finishing the last three double crochets and then you hit the first corner that we started with. and you want to join to the top of the beginning chain three. So that's what it looks like now. You got your popping going out and let's move along first. So I'm just gonna move along and then I'm gonna read the instruction to myself so I understand it. So I wanna slip stitch to the first corner. So just going over one more and then again to the chain two and then let's begin round number four. I just gotta quickly read so I know what I'm doing. So here in the pattern I wanna show you where we are and then you can keep track. So we've got the first one done here and now the next one we're gonna start our popcorns earlier and then there's three stitches here in between before you hit another one and we're gonna do that all the way around. So we're gonna put in th uh, two popcorn per side for round number four. So let's begin round number four. We're gonna chain three counts as a double crochet and double crochet in again into the same one. Chain three to turn and then two double crochet back into the same corner space. So that is your corner. So let's begin this side. So the first three in a row will each be one double crochet. So let's count those out together. So we have one, two, and three. And now the next one is a popcorn and you'll notice that it's over from this section here. So there's a popcorn one and two. 
So it's this one here. So it's the fourth one in and the popcorn is made up of four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then I want you to drop it, get the first one up and pull it through. Now the next three in a row are each popcorn and I want you to pay attention. So the next one is a double crochet, the next one is a popcorn and the next one is a double crochet. So together that makes up three. So let's just um, put double crochets in the next three. So one going in the top of the popcorn for two and the third one is the top of this double crochet on the other side of the popcorn. And now you're gonna do another popcorn here. So the fourth, fourth one over is a popcorn Going from front to back, pull through, and then the last three that you have are each a double crochet before you hit a corner. So that makes sense, right? You started with three double crochets before you did this, coming over, and then you did your popcorn, and then there's three again, and then three again on this side. So let's turn our corner so it's gonna be two double crochet to start, and then chain three, and two more double crochet. Let's quickly review this. One more time for this round number four. So the first three in a row will each be a double crochet. So one, two, and three. Okay, the fourth one which is next is a popcorn. So there's four double crochets in there. Okay, release it and make your popcorn. The next three in a row which is the next double crochet the top of the popcorn that exists and the next double crochet on the other side of the popcorn. Just shift it out of the way if you have to, if you don't see it. Or each a double crochet and then a popcorn is next. And then make your popcorn and then the last three are each a double crochet. So one, two and three and then turn your corner. So two double crochet, chain three and two double crochet. So please do that all the way around for round number four as you continue your Sheldon squared. So let's complete the final round for number four. You're just filling in the double crochets that lead up to the absolute outside of it and there is three double crochets that are left after you get past the last popcorn on the final and then you're just going to join it to the top. So let's move on to round number five and then I'll have to read the instructions. So we're gonna just um, slip stitch over to the next space and then let's begin round number five. So in round number five we're now going to continue and we're gonna make more popcorns. There's gonna be three and then we're gonna start decreasing after this particular round. So we have one, two and three and there's three double crochets that separate them as you're making them. So it's really quite easy. So it's all in about sets of three. So it's actually pretty easy in that sense. Let's begin round number five. So let's begin. We're going to chain three counts as a double crochet and double crochet in again and the turn is always the same. Chaining of three and then double crochet twice more into the same corner. So the next three in a row are each a double crochet. So let's count those out together. So we have one, two, and three and then the next one is a popcorn. You can see in position so I will I'll talk about that after. So let's do a popcorn first. So it's four double crochet into the same one. So go to the top of the first one, pull through. The next three in a row which includes this double crochet, the popcorn and the double crochet on the other side is each gonna be a double crochet this time. So one, two, and three. And now we're gonna position another popcorn. You can see it's directly in the middle of these grouping of three in between two popcorns. I'm only telling you that so that you can have orientation so you don't have to worry about um, really obsessively counting. If you can look for visuals that will help you along your path especially when you're doing multiples of these to make your finished blanket. So this is a popcorn. So how many stitches are next? If you said three, that's the right answer. If you said any other number, that's not the right answer. <laughs> and if you said nothing, <laughs> just smile and nod. So we have three in a row and then you're gonna do another popcorn on this side. 
So there's four double crochets that make that up. I hopefully you're starting to understand this pattern a lot more on the on the, the balancing of this. So this is a popcorn here and the final three in a row. See? See how it all works out in threes? Lord Jean did a great job in designing this to make it simple for you to be able to follow if you if you think it's simple. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna turn that corner so it's always gonna be the same in this round. So it's two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet. So I'm not gonna take you through another side and just uh, quickly talk to you about it. So there's gonna be three double crochets in a row, then a popcorn, and then three again in a row, and then a popcorn is in the middle one of the grouping of three, three in a row, and then a popcorn, and then the final three. So please do this all the way now for round number five. I'll see you at the end of that round as we continue our journey together. So I'm finishing up round number five with you here on camera and the last three get finished in. So let's uh, now move on to round number six and I'm just gonna slip stitch and then get ourselves ready for number six. So slip stitch over to the next chain two space. Let me read the instructions and I'll be right back as we continue our path together. As we continue to round number six, we are now going to eliminate out a popcorn. So we're now going to start exactly where we did here. We gotta watch the count here as we continue and then I, I bet there is a set of three double crochets because it just makes sense and then we have to count our way out here. So once you get the first two popcorns, you can probably just, just double crochet in the remaining and then turn your corner and do more for round number six. So let's begin round number six. We're going to chain up three counts as your double crochet. You already know what you're doing with that and then double crochet again and then chain three to turn and double crochet twice more into the same corner. So we have to count a certain amount of stitches to get the next popcorn in. It'll appear in between here and here. So the next seven in a row will each be a double crochet. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Now if you didn't wanna count, all you could have done is look for the middle one of the grouping of three in between these two popcorns which is the eighth one in and then that's where the popcorn is. So if you're thinking about um, doing more of these, then that's just your easy way to look at it to keep yourself in balance. So we're gonna do a popcorn and then there's three in a row after this one. So one and the next one, the second goes in over the next popcorn and the third is the double crochet on the other side of that. So again, the middle one in between these two popcorns right here is your next popcorn. So one, two, three, and four is your popcorn itself. Now you can count if you feel like you're that ambitious all the way to the end, but there should be a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I wouldn't count just because I know myself. Um, I know that my counts are right so far. So you can just, uh, just simply enjoy the process and go. So once you get to the corners, you already know what you're doing there. Two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet to turn. And then again, you're going to start up the next side. So let me just get there in just a moment and show you. I really wanna give you the, the visual eye for that so you can probably save yourself some obsessive counting if you don't wanna count. So once you start, it's the seventh one in but if you look at the popcorns, it's the middle one of the grouping of three and then it's the middle one of the other grouping of three that gets the popcorn for this one here. So this is round number six. Please do this and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm just now finishing up the final round of number six and then we're gonna continue then into round number seven as we continue our journey. So as we move on to round number seven, let's get ourselves to a space. So just slip stitch over and let's uh, read the instructions. So what we need to do is that we need to get the final uh, popcorn in. It'll be right here and so we just have to get our count to get there and then from there um, it really is really quite straightforward. So let's begin to do that next and I'll be right back. So in round number seven we're gonna prepare ourselves for the next round plus also finish this popcorn and the grouping of the diamond shape that we see here. So the corner is gonna be slightly different than what we already have been doing. So we've already got ourselves to the corner so you're gonna chain a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So once you have that six done, you are going to double crochet in the same chain three space. So this is going to count as your corner. Okay, so it's a double crochet and then a chaining of three and double crochet in. So now for the next 11 in a row, they're each gonna be a, a popcorn. So here's number one. The goal is, is to get the middle one here. So you can either count it or you can just look for it. So let's just count it just for the sake of argument. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So now that we have our eleven in, it's see the middle one of the grouping of three is gonna be a popcorn. So then finish that popcorn off. Now you can either count it all the way back to the other side or just continue to just to double crochet which was which is what I would do. Why would you count something when you're you have to just do one in each stitch all the way to the corner. So the corners on this particular one is what I already uh, demonstrated before. So it's gonna be one double crochet, chain three, one double crochet and then you begin again the next side and again it's 11 double crochets in a row and or just look for the middle one of the grouping of three in the row below to finish. So please do this all the way around for round number seven. Okay coming up to the end of round number seven and we're now having our diamonds uh, in the popcorn stitch completed and then we are just going to slip stitch to the third chain up on the final. So this is now round number seven so we have the diamonds. So now let's go back to the uh, pattern and let's go look what we're going to do next. So here back on the pattern we're going to just complete now the next round. There's gonna be some spacing and then we're gonna do another solid one with some popcorns and then more spacing. It's a nice visual relief. So we've just now finished here. Now we're gonna be adding in these spacing next. So let's begin. We're going to slip stitch ourselves to the first space that we have and now we're going to begin. You're gonna chain a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so that counted as the first double crochet and a chain three and I need you to double crochet back into the same one. So let's follow this pattern across. So it says we need to chain one and we skip the next double crochet and double crochet and the next one after that and we're gonna continue to do that all the way across. So chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next. So I need you to do that all the way across and then in the corners what we're going to apply is what we already know is one double crochet, chain three, one double crochet. So I'll meet you in the corner and make sure that you're finishing it off right and starting the next side perfectly. So as you come to your first corner just keeping in line with the pattern chain one, the next one is in the chain one space. So if you're skipping that last one which you should because that's what the pattern is telling you to do. So your every other one it'll work out. So chain three to turn and then back in. So remember we're going to just chain one to begin, skip the first one and go to the second and do the same thing all the way across. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. So I want you to do that all the way around for this round. This is round number eight. When you get back around on number eight, you're just gonna chain one and then just join it to the third chain up of your first chain and then that keeps all your spacing consistent. Let's move along to round number nine and let's just slip stitch to the first corner itself and then let's take a look at the instructions and let's begin. Okay let's begin round number nine. You're gonna chain six. So one, two, three. There's your first double crochet. Four, five, six is your space. And I want you to double crochet back into that same space again. So there's your first corner. So the next three in a row which is the next double crochet, the chain one space and double crochet are each a double crochet. It's important to know that. So one and two and three. Now we're gonna do a popcorn in this chain one space. So let's do that. So we're gonna put in your four double crochets there first to form your popcorn and once you get that done drop it get the first one. And now the next three in a row are each going to be um, a double crochet. So it's the first one here. So one, two, this is the space and the double crochet is the third one. And now the next space here is a popcorn. So you're gonna repeat that same idea going all the way across to your corner. Okay, 
So you got your popcorn in again. So the next three in a row are double crochets. So use the next double crochet post, use the next space and the next stitch here and then popcorn in the next. Please do that same idea going all the way across for round number nine. So I'm coming all the way across. You should know that there will be only six popcorns going across. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then I just gotta finish with the final three stitches of double crochets after it. So one in the space, two and three and now you're gonna turn a corner again. So the corner is what we already know. So it's gonna be a double crochet, chain three and double crochet. So let's just get you started back on another side. So the next three in a row will each be a double crochet. So one and two. This that includes those chain one spaces and then a popcorn is in the next space. So please do the same idea going all the way across and around and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number nine. So let's just finish up round number nine together and we're just filling in all the final stitches here on the end and then we're just going to join to the third chain up of the beginning chain six. So you can see you've applied your popcorns in. You have your beautiful visual relief and now we're gonna move on to round number 10 which is another relief row that we've already done before. So in round number 10 we're going to slip stitch to the chain three space and now we're going to begin our corners like we were down over here. So we're gonna chain up three and double crochet again into the same one. Now chain three and turn your corner of two double crochets in a row. So one and two. So this is like the relief round from before. The only difference is that the corners are slightly different if you can see that. So now we're gonna chain one, skip the first one and double crochet in the next and you're gonna do that all the way across. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next one across. Please do that all the way to the corner and I'll see you at the first corner to make sure that you're turning properly. So I'm about to hit the first corner of chain one. I skipped the last one because I'm just keeping in counts and then the corners for this round is two double crochet first and chain three to turn and two double crochet and then you begin another side. So let's quickly review on what we have to do again. So you just simply reshift in your hands, chain one, skip the first one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Please do that all the way around now for round number 10. So let's finish up round number 10 together just maintaining the pattern as we know it and that's it. So chain one and then join it to the top of the beginning chain three to finish. So this is round number 10. You can see the two reliefs are now in. So now we have just a few more rounds left and let's begin to number 11. Let's just slip stitch now to the first chain uh, space and let's begin. As we begin into round number 11 we're going to be adding more popcorns and you can see there's one, two and three and then there's a space here and then one, two and three. So we have to just pay attention to that. So this is not like a diamond shape going like this. It's just going outward like this. So this is round number 11. So let's begin round number 11 and we're going to chain three counts as a double crochet and double crochet again into the same space. Chain three to turn and two double crochets and then we're gonna get started on our repeat pattern going all the way around. So to start the first two in a row are each going to be a double crochet. So we're gonna go one and two and here's the repeat pattern. The next one which happens to be a chain one space is a popcorn. So we have to put in our popcorn there. I don't find it uh, useful to count the number of uh, double crochets when making a popcorn um, in the sense of counting out loud. So let's begin. The next three in a row starting in the next double crochet plus the next space and the next double crochet or each double crochet. And then we're gonna apply another popcorn in the next chain one space. So let's do that. And the reason why I said that about counting these popcorns is that you're so far into the tutorial you should know that it's a chain. Sorry, it's four double crochets that make it up. So it's not being lazy, it's just being common sense I guess. So next three in a row are each double crochet. That includes the chain one spaces. And then finally the last popcorn goes in. So there's only three in this side here. And when I say this side it's like this half of the, the square. We'll introduce it back on the other half of the square when we get there. So now that the final popcorn is in the next 11 in a row 
will be all double crochets and then we're going to then put these three on the other side. So let's count out 11 together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven in a row and so now we're gonna put the popcorns on this side of the, of the, of this. So let's start with another popcorn. So how many stitches are in between these popcorns on the first two of them? It's gonna be three. So the first popcorn goes in and then three double crochets in a row. So one, two, and three and then another popcorn. Okay, I'm speeding up if you haven't been noticing at all. I'm sure I'll get complaints on that. So now the next three in a row are each a double crochet. There's just some things later on in a tutorial format because I've been dragging you so long on this one is that you can speed up on certain elements because you're getting it. It's so three in a row so the next pop, uh, next one here is a popcorn. It's the final so there's three groups, two groups of three per side. And now the final two stitches are each a popcorn. Now when we started remember that we just started with two immediately in when we started this side and then we uh, divide it to a popcorn so we know that it's working out. So the corners are always gonna be the same. Uh, two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet. So I'm just gonna verbally tell you what to do. I wrote it out down on my sheet. I should show you that sheet just in case you think that I'm, I'm smart but I'm really not. So what we have is that I put on here that there was two double crochets, then a popcorn, three double crochets, then a popcorn, three double crochets, and then a popcorn and then 11 in a row and then what I have is a popcorn and then three popcorn, three popcorn and then two in a row and then you're back on the corner. So you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So that's what you're going to do for the remaining of this one. This is number 11. So let's finish up this round here and just applying my last two double crochets in there. This is round number 11 and so far we're almost, we're getting close. We're not quite done yet but we're getting closer. And now let's progress to round number 12 and we're just gonna slip stitch our way there and I'm gonna read the instructions and then get right back to you here. And this is looking pretty awesome. So I'm gonna take you right to my instructions to start with round number 12. It's really almost closer to round number 11. So what we have here is that you're gonna have two, three, three and then 15. So the only difference now is that there's gonna be more space in the middle section and then three, three and two is our number. So remember it's two popcorn, three popcorn, three popcorn and then 15 double crochets and then what we have is that we have popcorn, three and then popcorn, three and then popcorn and two right to the end and the corners will be the same of what we already know them to be. So the corners from what I can see here is two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. Let's begin round number 12. So let's begin round number 12. We're gonna chain three counts as a double crochet and double crochet again in and chain three to turn. So it's pretty much identical to round number 11. It's just there's more space that will separate this middle section right here. So remember there's gonna be two double crochet in a row. So one and two and then what we have is we have a popcorn. This is gonna be a little bit of a timely round because we are doing more um, stitch work. So we have a popcorn and then the next three in a row are each a, a double crochet. So do you wanna see something cool? You can either count it or you can really look for it. See how they're in groups of three just like they were in the very beginning when we were doing the diamond shape. If you look for that, that'll also be your indication of where to put a popcorn as well when you're doing this. So your popcorn and then you're going to double crochet three in a row. So one, two, and three and look where you are again. It's right in between the last two popcorns that exist on this uh, half of the side 
and then a popcorn again. And that's all you wanna apply for there. And now how many double crochets in a row? What you can do, there is a total of 15, but if you look to the other side, it's the middle one here, here, and here. You see that? So there's 15 in a row. So you can either count it 15, or just give your indication of looking where you need to go. So I'm just gonna count it just for the sake of doing it. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen should take me right to the middle in between. So do you see it? There's three in there. That one's the next one that's empty. So that's your new popcorn. And then how many after that? And to double crochet, it's three. So one, two, and three. And if you looked at the popcorn, you would have noticed it's the middle one of the grouping of three that is your next popcorn. Okay, make that a popcorn. And then how many in a row? It's three again. Okay, and you can see at the very final one, and this is the final popcorn going in, and there should be two stitches left over before you get to the corner. And then you're gonna turn your corner with what you already know, so it's gonna be two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. Okay, so that's what you want to do and you can see that they're lining up on an angle. When you look at it from this perspective, let me just zoom out a little bit here for you and you can see how it's working out. And so we have two more rounds to do. So finish this round first and then we'll be right, be right back to finish your final two rounds. So I'm finishing up round number 12 and just applying my last popcorn in and then the last two stitches are each a double crochet. So round number 12 that we're about to start sorry I am finishing round number 12. Round number 13 that we're about to start is going to be a relief round. So it's a visual relief just like you did here down right below here. So let's just slip stitch our way to the corner that we have. So we're just gonna go into the next one and then the next one. So now we're into the chain space in the corner. So we're going to chain a uh, total of three and then double crochet back in and then chain three to turn and then two more double crochet back in. So it's just like we had done before. I'm just gonna just quickly just start and then you can do the rest. So you're just gonna chain one, skip the first one, double crochet in the next. And you do that all the way across to the corner and then when you get to the corner, it's two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So please do this. You already know what you're doing with this and I will see you at the end of round number 13 and then we're gonna conclude with round number 14 at the end. Okay, so we're coming all the way around on round number 13 and chain one and then just join to the beginning chain three. So let's uh, begin and we are going to continue along and we are going to then just chain up one and so we're not slip stitching to a corner now. We're just gonna chain one and just single crochet in the same one and each uh, double crochet and chain one space. When it comes to a corner, you're gonna apply five double or five single crochets there. So each double crochet is going to get a single crochet and each chain one space you hit which is next one will get a single crochet. So remember that your corners are made up of five single crochets and then that's it. So what I'll do is I'll finish this round and that's it for this and I'll just quickly mention how you can put these together 
if you would like to form your afghan. So I'm concluding the 14th and final round. I know it's been a long video today. Um, there's been a, quite a bit of demand for this particular project, your project to be in video format for those that needed the extra help. So I don't mind spending the extra time with you today. So we're just gonna uh, single crochet ourselves right to the very end and then we're just gonna go into the very first single crochet and fasten off. Now if you want to make this into an afghan which is probably your final goal is that you'll want to join this on the back loops only. So using the invisible seam, uh, seam. So what I'm going to do for you today is that I, I don't have any more of these to join together but I'm gonna put in the comments of this video um, how to join with an invisible seam using the back loops only. So if you're looking at it the back loop is just the one strand. So you go in the back loop of this one and then the back loop of the other one and it has an invisible join when you go to do that. And you can do different colors and, and you know I might even think about if you were uh, adventurous you could use like a self striping yarn for this particular concept. It's up to you. Um, you could decide what's right for your creativity. At the end you'll want to fasten in your loose ends um, as you're as you're finishing off and you wanna make sure it looks pretty good from the other side. So if you go in and out of your work three times, um, this is the se several tutorial using this um, particular tapestry needle. I really need to find my other one. And it's just way too big for this particular yarn. So what we have here is that we're going to just go in and out three times and then that completes the Sheldon squared concept and you can see it looks really amazing. Now because I used the Karen one pound it is a lot bigger than it appears. It well it really is that much bigger anyway um, because the Karen one pound is more thicker. So you can see all the all the nice uh, nubblies and stuff. So this is the Sheldon squared pattern and this was designed by my friend, longtime friend Laura Jean Bartholomew on behalf of the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. <music>